Hymns. Hello and welcome to the Hymns tutorial video on how to use Terminal Flipboard. Terminal Flipboard is a feature on our Braille Sense, Braille Edge, and Smart Beetle Braille displays. Terminal Flipboard allows you to edit information before it is sent to a mobile device, such as an iPhone, iPad, or an Android tablet. I'm demonstrating Terminal Flipboard using a Braille Sense U2 connected to my iPhone. A lot of the time, when you're trying to write on an iOS device, Braille tends to do tricky things, like if you hit the letter L and then don't do anything, it becomes the word like. See, watch, I'll show you. I'm in a text message, and if I just hit the word, and if I just hit the letter L, and I sit here for a moment, like appears on the screen. I don't want my text message to say like, so I'm going to delete it. And instead, I can compose this message using Terminal Clipboard, which will temporarily suspend my keyboard's connection to my iPhone and allow me to use all of my typical note taker commands to move around my text before I send it. So I'm going to press space, enter, and the letter I. Terminal Clipboard. And now I'm in the Terminal Clipboard mode on my BrailleSense U2. And I can write my message. I like. Oh. Except I didn't want the word like, so we'll back over that. Space, oh, that, space, like. Now, there we go. We took away like. I am At. doing, doing. A, a video. Video on terminal clipboard period. Now, there's no visuals here because it's all in the Braille sense at this point. I can move to the top of that text. Start. I can move to the end of that text using 4, 5, 6 in the space Ed. bar. I can use any of my traditional editing commands so that my backspace is going to operate as a backspace. I can en press enter for new lines. All of my typical note taker commands. And when I'm ready to send this message to my phone, all I need to do is press enter and the letter S. Start sending. Terminal mode. And when terminal mode is announced from the Braille from the Braille sense, the message has been sent to the phone. There isn't a size limit on the amount of data that you can send, but as you can tell, even with a short message, it took a few seconds for the phone to be able to interpret the data. So I would recommend sending pretty short messages. And that's all there is to using terminal clipboard. So thank you for tuning in to our tutorial video, and we'll see you soon.